How's it going everyone? Today's focus is K1 Crew Quarters, Master Law Sector, dealing with champions of barrier and overload. You're running as a Strand Hunter, Quicksilver Storm for anti-barrier, a uh, grenade launcher for disorienting grenades. If you don't have one, make sure you go grab one. This one is from Spires of the Watcher, so make sure you uh, run that. If you can get this one, this one's probably one of the best ones because of the double fire. But you can also grab a grenade launcher uh, from like Vanguard, Bender and stuff. Uh, machine gun for anti-overload, and then we're using Assassin's Cow, so we can always get out of sticky situations. Use a finisher, you get stealth. Use a melee kill, you get stealth. So it's pretty, pretty nice. High resilience keep you alive, high discipline so you have your grapple up as much as you need it. Throw the rest into intellect so you can use your super as much as you want. Super does really strong, does really, really well if you pair it with, uh, with ensnaring slam, so you can take care of barrier champions without any issue. You can spin the barrier, take it out no problem. You probably can maybe out damage overloads if you're lucky, uh, but you probably need a tangle spinning also with Maelstrom to really help out with it, or else you're not going to have the damage. Uh, but still, it does pretty good for high damage output. Uh, Gambler's Dodge to refresh our melee. Grapple just is going to do good for unraveling targets and doing big damage and kind of getting closer into combat. Propagation for unraveling rounds. Warding for anti... Or sorry, warding for woven mail. Uh, gen Generation here for grenade energy, and then transmutation for more tangle generation. Let's go with more tangles. Our build is fully melee focused. That makes you change your resist to two solar resist and one void resist. As the, the you'll take a lot of solar damage during this, and then switch your weapon surges to match your weapons you're using. If they're not going to be strain weapons, then I would say change that surge mods. I'm getting killed by random mobs here. It's okay. Here's Maelstrom as it's working. What, it just destroys everything. Um, and let's go over the artifact real quick. Everything is strand focused, monochromatic, elements munitions. You'll be in a good spot. Let's get going. Let me know in the comments below what you're thinking of strand hunter. I do have a, I do have a video for a PvP build and a PvE build for strand hunter, and they are destroying right now. So hope you check those out whenever you get a chance and we'll enjoy these lost sectors. Alright, here we go. We'll just Get our tangle spawn right away. Give us our stealth as we want. Want to stun the uh, overload champion, and if we can, knock him off the edge. Mainly, um, just a <laughs> easy kill there. Now we need to find uh, the overload. Everything's done here. We're gonna find the next overload again. He's gonna be far side here. Crazy how this thing is doing so much damage. back up a little bit so we don't get ourselves in a bad spot. Don't want this guy healing, so we gotta keep him stunned. He should be prevented from healing right now, but we'll see how long that last. There we go. Okay, now we're going to don't need to kill all these red bars, they'll die as we go. Now we just need to find... Here we are. Three doesn't... There you go. Awesome. So now what we're gonna do is we kind of want to hide because you know we don't want to die to this thing. We'll throw that over there. Easy peasy. I don't see the uh, overload champion. Though. I don't know what happened to him. Did he die? Am I gonna lose my platinum? <laughs> what happened? He made. It. All right. I guess he. I guess he did. Oh, I missed that one. Okay. Here, 
this. Once that's dead, then we can focus on everything else here. Our finishers give us that stealth we want. Boom. Nothing can touch us. Spin the wind going. We're going to do as much boss damage as we can. Won't be able to touch the overload, unfortunately. Due to his location. But we should be able to just mess up the boss until the barrier chooses him. And we'll just take out the drag with the grapple. Remember that gives us our stealth, so we're in a good spot here. 15 seconds of stealth. We're just gonna go and destroy everything. Look at the damage of the tangles. Ooh. Four minutes, 33 seconds. Give Strand a go. Um, I know it's coming up a few more weeks till the end of the season, but definitely recommend this uh, build still. It's pretty fun to use. And as always, it'll be a fantastic day.